second round of the 2021-2022 saw 24 goals scored across all seven games played this weekend. Malandi Chiefs and Tambuti recorded big wins as they begin their long walk out of the relegation zone. Fresh from their baptism of fire in the CAF Confederations Cup match in South Africa by Orlando Pirates, Royal Leopards were called to restore their pride when they hosted top of the lock Baban Highlanders at the Mavosa Sports Centre. Stuart Lamini was not to be denied a couple of minutes later, giving Leopards a deserved lead. Proper play from the boys. In a bid to silence the visitors, Junior Makakula scored a much needed goal to extend Leopard's lead, cementing their status as Swazi's best club for the year 2020, Ya Shindu. A much needed cash boost for Leopards, especially if they'll be playing their home games away from home in the CAF Confederations Cup, proving to be expensive for the defending champions. Stock in the middle of the park in the MTN Premier League log, Tabanguli Kellis visited Moreni Pirates at the Mavusa Sports Centre on Saturday. Kellis gave themselves a major boost in their last meeting, recording a win their last so far to keep themselves well within touch with the leading pack with just 10 points separating them with the log leaders and Babane Highlanders. Moneni Pirates, who are blowing hot and cold this season, were hoping for a better change of luck in the second round after losing five, drawing five and winning five of their games in the first half of the season. Talk about balancing the scale. Kelly said came with a plan and a solid one at that with a quick implementation at the start of the match. Mazuskangonyane called to action in the first minute of the match with a hard hit shot to hand the visitors a much deserved lead. Spanelas Melana thought he had equalized for the host, but his attempt dismissed by the referee. Kellis were not slowing down. Jablani Mpimbili's shot well dealt with by Begitisa Lamini. Soon after Kelly's defense were caught on a back foot, Malibongwe Malinga finding the back of the net only to be ruled offside. It was wave after wave, similar to their last attempt. Sbonelos Melane and Malinga were causing all sorts of problems up front. 1 0 the scoreline at half time. The host started the half like a house on fire, borrowing a leaf from the Kelly's book, snatching a lead in the opening minute of the half, courtesy of Melane. Kalis thought they had equalized minutes later, Slongonyane's high-flying shot denied by the crossbar. Pirates had the perfect chance to grab the lead when Similane passed through the box, his snap shot pounced away by the keeper. Divana switch almost paid off immediately when Spiwe Gamete's cross was missed by Nelly Somieni, much to the relief of Pirates' defense. However, the West was not over yet. Kellis awarded a penalty in the 75th minute. Elisa Mieni made no mistake in letting home his first of the match.
The drama was far from over as a referee Togozani Lamini pointed to the squad for the second time in a space of 10 minutes. A much needed opportunity for the man in black. Kolani Nguenya took responsibility, but his shot was saved by Nanawe Lala, much to the relief of Jimo Moses. Great results for Kalis away from home, begging their first win of the second round. Nurondibane, a happy man indeed. I'm happy. Yeah, I'll finish what the football can kill you. But the fighting spirit from these boys, yeah. you could see Monene, we knew they like to dominate equal position. And we gave them their own half. Kutsiba Badal on their own half. So it's just that lapse of concentration I saw Polar, whereby my centre back wanna uh, apply my principles of team play or my basics in national uh, all in all I'm impressed with the fighting spirit, uh, the way the team the combos are in a corner. Yes, we will reinforce there and there, but today's results bad or what may, it was very important to win this game and for my welcome to <laughs> no, I think we played very well. Yes, they played very well. We just made, we missed one aspect of football, that's scoring. Football is about scoring. It doesn't matter how, how good you play, you need to play. Because it's seemingly need at least today I could have gone away with the point. Uh, but overall, I think it was a good game of football. I think the fans enjoyed it. My players they exerted themselves very well. The tactical plan applied very well. The only thing was the scoring. But we still remain a good team. A good team. Uh, I commend this, this boys that are working very, very hard. I am hoping uh, that uh, next game will do better than two. But otherwise, congratulations to Tabakuri Pelis. They took their chances. And I'm very excited to yeah <laughs> This is like really hard. It's not a bone into the pump, get to Nedic figure. It was sent this a matter of the scene, so this I bump up. And now, men of the match, no more, but what's in the men of the match will say that you cannot get to now and play on the three points. And the more I'm now, and the more I'm now in better cool. And I mean, it's for the stand and I should not see the name to far left half and go higher on your right side, which I only left side penalty. After a disastrous the last outing, Babane Highlanders were out to redeem themselves and possibly reclaim the top spot at the top of the summit when they travelled to Manzini to face Liwesele in match week 16 of the MTN Premier League. In football, they say you are as good as your last match and in Kunzi head coach Sly Musala knew exactly that in order to change their luck, they had to make a number of changes in their match day squad. who are not far from the relegation zone were also wary of the danger that a wounded Highlanders pose having played to a one or draw in their last meeting. Newly appointed head coach Vele Kayam Tedfa was all smile at the start of the match and was counting on the boys to keep that smile on his face. Musala introduced Delisa Gama, Lindogutle Fagutze, Peter Lamini and Tony Muchacha in the first 11. Wanderers looked troubled at the start of the match, making schoolboy errors and were almost punished, but Sabelo Skalinzinesa's shot was way off target. Totally unlike him, considering the fact that he is leading the top chart so far this season. 
Highlanders' defense were caught napping five minutes later, with Fabrice Mopina grabbing a much-needed opener in the ninth minute. Mopina done a great favor by Peter Lamini, who did all the spade work for him. 1-0 to Liwesaili, a proper assist from the opposition. In front of the home crowd, one Razo were showing a glimpse of their former self that saw them accumulate their big fan base. Minutes later, one Razo were punished for their flamboyant style of play, Scully chipping it over to an empty net. After that much needed equaliser, Highlanders were free flowing up front and should have taken the lead. Mubina was a constant thorn in Highlanders' defence, restoring Wanderers' lead in the 37th minute. Perfect half from Tedfa and the boys. The halftime pep talker from Musala seemed to have triggered a lot of good in the Highlanders' camp, but it was Wanderers who got the first real chance at goal. Highlanders were circling in well and oozing with confidence, and Zinisa's header ruled offside. Planim Convo rose well to the occasion, grabbing Highlanders second to level matters. After missing out on a number of opportunities, it was time for Plan B. Musala bringing in Siboniso Mane Lukele for Pilanim Konfo. With the three fresh legs up front, Lukele grabbed the lead for the visitors. Proper tap in from close range, leaving the keeper with no chance at all. He was not done as of yet, solidifying Inkunze's lead on added on time, 4-2 in favour of Highlanders. Crucial three points for the City Giants, keeping up pressure on a busy Royal Leopard.
Yeah, listen, uh, one will always say three points is three points. Uh, but at the end of the day, for me, this, this was not a, 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 a good game of football, uh, but we had to scrape results. We had to uh, try by all means and find ways of how we get the results because we tried to play from the beginning. It was difficult. We made two big errors of which they cost us. Now we had to go down and uh, chase the game. Eventually we equalized, we scored another one and then we scored a killer last minute. I will take these three points. <laughs> if I, if I want to win the title, if I want to push the title, it doesn't matter how you win. Three points is three points. Eh? Thank you. We are tough and an easy one at the same time. We had uh, defensive mistakes and they punished us. We created some chances. We couldn't utilize them. But basically, we were supposed to be dealing with the second balls, which we, we didn't manage in the second half. So they that's why they got the chances they used. All right, thank you. I think yeah, I'm very happy. Uh, my teammates are going to respond. I got to the defense as well. We are going to pass. Congratulations to them for winning their first prize, their first round. So uh, I think I'm very, very happy. I'm very happy to have a I think that's what I'm going to do. In the second round with the win, I'm going to be motivated and I'm going to think and still go on and win the title. I'm going to be able to do this because I'm going to be able to do this because I'm going to be able to do this because I'm going to be able to do this because I'm going to be able to do this because I'm going to be able to do this because I'd like to just get the start to make us one lose if ever down as one lose, but I think with the points we have, we are capable of going all out each and every game. You added a goal towards your tally, towards top goal scorer. What's your target exactly for the end of the season? I'm not calling. 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 I'm not I'm not sure what I'm doing. I think I'm happy now. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Thanks, Captain. Well done. Well done. Bobbini Swallows were out to Avenger their 1-0 defeat to Green Mamba in the first round on Saturday afternoon at the King's Opposa II Memorial Stadium. Green Mamba, who were out to complete an MTN Premier League double over Swallows after winning the first leg 1-0, were in for a rude awakening. In his first match in charge, Green Mamba's newly appointed coach, Ernest Mavuso, hoped for nothing less than a draw. Having got uh, the honours uh, to get the match underway, Swallows were in quick search of an opener. The Mbaba side was throwing numbers in front, looking more of a team that utilised uh, their two weeks break to polish up on a number of tactics. Mavuso's charges almost came close to an opener after a set-piece situation but Njabulo Makakola failing to find the target. Soon after, Inyoga El Shazana were presented with yet another chance, with Mbutwa Lamini taking long to pull the trigger. They were not to be denied in the 32nd minute, Mkolitim Convo smashing it home, leaving Sandy Lekininza with no chance at all. To what looked more like a perfect start for the coach. Class indeed from Convo. Swallows were throwing numbers up front and pushing for an equalizer with Tabo Vilagati combining well with Njabulo Difodi Lamini in front of goal but couldn't find his way through the traffic. Their call for a handball was falling on deaf ears. A solo effort from Difodi was not enough to level matters for the home team. His kick way off the target. Straight from the centre mark, the visitors were in search of their second of the game in an attempt to unsettle the host. 
However, it was Swallows who got the first real chance at goal in the 60th minute. A half-time change for Swallows looked like the right omen for the man in blue. Swallows opted for changes, introducing Tony Tabete and James Nguluve for Leon Manyesa and Sizolwe Shabalala to give them a much-needed boost in attack. A move that saw Swallows awarded a penalty after a handball situation inside the box. Felix Fela stepping up to level matters for the host, proving that it doesn't matter how they come as long as they come. One all the scoreline. Swallows were threatening again, putting the keeper under pressure, but Fela's header was wide of the target. Swallows did find the target eventually in the 70th minute, but Sandile Chachuago's attempt was ruled offside, much to the frustration of Swallows' bench. Green Mamba had a chance to restore their lead, but were denied by a D4D well-timed tackle inside a box that saw referee Mbongani Shongwe reaching for his pocket. Swallows were not to be denied two minutes from time through a Felix header. His second of the match to what would be the last action of the match. Umkantoga Shanga grabbing all three points to maintain their fourth spot with 29 points in the MTN Premier League log. Mananga cool. One, they can play. Two, combinations. Three, Sibenda will matter passes, I think four of them. Uh, two, the first half, one on one, a goalkeeper, but we had to let ourselves down. We go meet the game, I see true reflection. Yeah, the, the, the score is not a true reflection in the game. We should have scored two, three in the first half. It's when you say as a coach, the experience sometimes is very, very important. The experience is about by Chelsea, the more special when we introduced a tone in the second half. Plus, you get more on local experience. Nabangen. We be kumbuta alanje. We see now to play in Bamana Solos. It's short team. More special the pitch in Bamana Solos. And then, like I'm saying, it's experienced players. And then the ball will be back on in the past seasons. Baba City level, Baba Nani, Baba Chere. We see short team local in Bamana Solos. Malandi Chiefs continued with their quest to move out of the relegation zone when they hosted the Denver Sundowns at the Kilana Stadium out in Peaks Peak. Malandi, who have collected four points in their last five games, the most so far this season, knew the task at hand if they are to survive the X. Sundowns are also not far from the danger zone where out to avoid their 11th defeat of the season. Malandi had the first real chance at goal with Mfundo Mkabela coming close to squeezing it in. The host thought they've got an opener through Sandile Mazibogo, but it wasn't to be. Opportunities were hard to come by for Sundowns, but almost made something from a set-piece position. The Cape Town Guanele Lamini was leading by example, whipping in a great cross that was met by Infundum Kabela to give Malanti a much-deserved lead. 1-0 to Malanti at half-time.
Kabela had a number of opportunities which he failed to take advantage of. Malandi were almost made to rue their missed opportunities. Spamandla Masego's shot is saved by Kulani Gama. Mazibogo was having a great day in office, piling pressure on Sundowns at defense, and they were not to be denied, with Nkosin Pile Lamini heading home. Sundowns had an opportunity of their own, Mike Dombo's header, wide of the target. The last they will get on the day, with the host taking all three points home. Yes, we were in command from the first whistle, but we were a bit worried in the second half because we went up. We missed quite a number of chances there, and Denver could have come back. But thanks for the second goal. Obvious now we have to move out from the basement and be in a better position to remain in the top flight league. And now a confirmation of your results. Tambuti winning against the Rangers, Bobova with a powerful sting against the Tinyosi and the Young Buffaloes, recording a 4 0 win against Seabeds. After week 16 of games, Zimbabwean Highlanders are back at the top of the summit, followed closely by Royal Leopards, who were not in action this week due to their Continental Club competition commitment. Young Buffaloes are rounding up the top three. Vovovo were the big movers this week, making a top five entry, pushing out seabeds. As interesting as things are at the top, the action is as intense at the bottom of the log, with both Malanti Chiefs and Tambuti recording wins in their last two outings. After losing to Libya's Al Itihad over the weekend, Leopards will turn their attention to Hotspur on Wednesday at Galanga out in Sidegi. And now for your next round of games. Week 17 of the MTN Premier League will see the likes of Vovovo playing host to Royal Leopards. Babane Swallows um, up against Tinyosi, Babane Highlanders are playing a bottom of the lock at Tambuti, and Malanti Chiefs continuing with their search to move out of the relegation zone when they play Milling Hotspur.